I made a big mistake. Ah! Last night, I didn't go to bed until I think 2.30 or 3.30. I was editing my vlog. I forgot, I didn't forget to edit. It's just, when you saw my Monday vlog where I'm like falling asleep in the Lambo and I'm just exhausted throughout the vlog. When it comes down to like the day being over, I'm dead tired. Should I go to work and drop my stuff off? This is why I don't like it when I miss my days of working out because I'm totally out of it right now. Nice M3. It looks like he's not here yet, so I'm just gonna drop my keys off in the drop box. Driving a little fast, so all my stuff flew everywhere. Hopefully nothing flew out. Do not want to forget that. How are you? Good, good. All right, man, another day. Just waiting for my Uber right now. All my keys and everything. And all the parts are in the trunk for it too. Sweet. So the rotor pads and everything. If there are any issues, just give me a call. All right, thank you, bro. No worries, man. Appreciate it. Want me to close this door? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. A little chilly today. Yeah, I hear it, man. Later, bro. So if you're new to my channel or new to my videos, I'm currently going to be getting my rotors done, my pads, stainless steel brake lines, and also a custom tune from Evolve. So I'm going to do those four things and then also. Uh, doing an exhaust as of right now. It's stock. Did I book this? Oh five minutes away But right now it's stock, but I'm gonna doing electric cutouts So it'll be a lot louder when I want it to be and then quieter when I leave in the morning when I get this car back Hopefully today or tomorrow. It should be all set with brand new front rotors pads stainless steel brake lines and a full tune on the car as well I got staring at me like something was wrong. I don't know what the hell that was four minutes away. Is that yeah, it is I'm not sure if it's going to be done today, so I just want to give a shout out to Shaw SSR Performance. Um, they do everything from exhaust work to tune to engine build, so check them out. They're really good people. I feel like I'm going to school. I have my, my backpack. I got my lunch. I got my sweatshirt. All I need is like that, those super loud windbreakers that every time you move, someone can hear you. And if you can't tell, I'm really cold. My hands are like shivering. All right, Dennis with the Volkswagen. I'm looking for you. I think that's you. Yeah, that's you. How are you? Hey man, thank you so much. Thanks, you too. What's up, dude? I'm really curious to see if this thing starts. I have no idea if it's going to, because it's been sitting for two weeks now. Oh, ho, ho, that's what's up. Man, who remembers this car? I know I said it in one of my last vlogs, but shout out to Evolve Tuning, who you saw in my video. 
No. I forgot that it does this. Oh, it doesn't have to be on. Why do I need my car on? Evolve Tuning just gave me a shout out on their Instagram. Oh, they even posted a video. That's what's up. Now I'm about to jump into my meeting with Andy, my brand manager for Devoted Society. Yo. And they don't make. Uh, no, I, I understand that. I mean, that's what I saw yeah. too. Is like you look at some of the websites and they have products that for sure. Have access to doing that, you know, when they only print T-shirts. All right. So right now, the company has looks sick in my living room or my office or something like that. So that's the di sure. like the diversity that I want to find a way to create for my company to. Get. All right, man. All right, bye. bye. Running your own business is not always easy. If you don't want to hear about business talk, I would skip the next like three or four minutes just because I want to tell you guys how I'm feeling and what's going on. I own a company called Devoted Society and it's a clothing line, motivational kind of thing. It started off as an Instagram account, um, just doing like quotes over pictures of cars and stuff like that. I started doing it when Instagram first came out and now every motivational page is doing that. I mean, I've seen it before, but you know, when I, when I launched the company, it was originally a Instagram page. So I decided to monetize off of it and create t-shirts, gym bags, tank tops, women's and men, everything. Company failed, I shut it down for a bit. I almost sold the company for $10,000 and I decided not to. I held on to the company and the rights. Um, I didn't do everything legally the first time, so the second time around, I did everything right. Now I have uh, a whole team in San Diego. I have a manager and I have a warehouse where I keep everything. And they're going through a transition. They're going through some things. The new year just started. There's some stuff going on. It's been a little bit more hard. It's been a harder journey than I had imagined. Um, you know, with vlogging, which I was doing last year, almost every two or three days. Now it's every day with doing the wholesale thing with buying and selling exotic cars. Uh, there's a mixture of emotions that run through my head that is not easy to deal with every single day. You know, you don't always have those phone calls that are great, that are awesome, that things are going well, that everything is perfect. Uh, one of those days, you know, that happened to be today. Um, I had to lay down some ideas and, and uh, some thoughts that I had, and they're not always the prettiest. They're not always the nicest things to say, but when you run a business, you have to be honest and you have to give your opinion and your thought on what you want to do as far as representing your own brand, your own style, your own company, your own idea that you created. I used to package shirts and ship them out. Um, my whole living room and, and uh, my kitchen was all shelving of shirts and all my stuff that I had. And now that I have you know, a whole team, it's a little bit easier, but you have to make communication number one. And communication is the biggest thing in life, I think, with you know your spouse, with your friends, with your family, with uh, your businesses, with everything. And you know that's what messes up a lot of companies or a lot of things in general. So I had to really make it clear today on what I was looking for and what I need for my company. I have a great website, I have a great team, I have a good company that's building slowly. Um, you know, Any support is always appreciated. It represents a lot of what I do and what I'm about. And I just feel like it was, uh, it's not always the best thing to have talks where you have to be very honest and blunt about how you feel, but that lays down the law, that lays down the idea. And I just hung up that 35 minute phone call feeling very confident that going into 2017 that my company will be much more successful than um, you know, what I had in mind. And I really want to keep building it. And if you want to check it out, it's devotedsociety.com. Um, we have a lot of products coming. This is just the beginning. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos about business and everything, shoot me a Snapchat if you want to. And I'm always happy to answer any questions. Uh, that photographer is my Snapchat. I typically respond to everybody if I can. Spencer. We're here at Newport Coast Newport Exotics. Newport Coast Exotics, and uh, he's a vlogger too. Well, what's your channel? Tell me your channel. Uh, I have a few different channels, but for YouTube, it's just Spencer Burke, and literally, it's everything from cars to BMX to fitness, pretty much a lifestyle vlog kind of thing. And he takes photos on Instagram, yeah. and he mm -hmm. drives that M3. <laughs> right now. Oh my god! <laughs> I have the mic too, but I don't this one right now. Hey, I'm not lying. You phone vlog is pretty cool. Um, we, should, we should just throw our camera Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs>